Android nougat. The British accent is Android nuga. Did you know nuga means who in Korean? Anyway, guys, today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the official Android 7.0 nuga nougat that just came out today. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Um, today I've got uh, Android 7.0. Uh, here we go. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, you will see Android version 7.0. If you keep hitting on the end, go ahead and hold it down. You'll see it goes like that, and you can turn the cat mode on. All right. So the cat mode is on. Once you have the cat mode on, now you can catch cats. All right. Um, you can go ahead and edit and move this over here, which is a cat. Now. You can turn it off, empty dish, or if you want to catch some cats, uh, you can go ahead and set it to fish, treats, chicken, bits. Set it to fish here. Um, this will allow you to catch cats. If you go to sleep now, get up tomorrow, you may be lucky to catch a cat. Let me show you some of the cats I've caught already. I caught three cats so far. Uh, you can also rename them. I renamed it Meow Coolio Cat 709. Meow. Um, so it's kind of a fun way to catch a bunch of cats. And if you love cats like my daughter, Meow. you're gonna love this new Android nugget. All right. Apart from that, what can you do? Um, you will see in your notification bar. Uh, I get a bunch of tweets. Now they're not individual; they're group now. So if you get a bunch of tweets, Google Plus notifications, uh, whatnot. You can go ahead and click here, and it will actually show you all the different ones, right? All right. Also, you can go ahead and change some of the notifications. For example, I'm getting a notification from Marquez Brownlee, and go to settings. I can say uh, show notifications silently or block all notifications from YouTube, right? Um, so that's kind of cool. And also for Periscope, you can also control all of your notifications right there uh, without having to actually go into settings. You know, it's it's just a pain in the ass to do that. All right, you can also go to the right like this and also access settings. So this is a really great way to control your notifications without actually going to settings, apps, app settings, permissions, all that crap you really don't want to do. So Android and sort of fixes a lot of that. And also you'll notice that the notifications now show up here. You can actually easily toggle your Wi-Fi, your uh, flashlight, Wi-Fi again, and of course your fish. Your cats, you gotta take care of cats, you know. Meow. I really love the cat uh, stuff. It's really cool because my daughter loves cats and she meows all day long, literally. She probably meows more than a real cat. I'll try to make a video about it. All right, Android Nougat. Um, if you go into settings, you'll see a lot of new things. It will actually give you now suggestions. All right, under display, you'll find some new settings when devices in VR mode um, use low motion blur settings. Now, Android N does come with virtual reality. I did have a video on that, so check that out. I'll put that in the description. All right, under notifications, you'll be able to organize your apps by all apps blocked, show silently, override, do not disturb. Um, all this stuff. All right, so additional settings for no uh, notifications. All right, if you want to activate multi-window, make sure you go into about phone, go to your build number, hit it a bunch of times until developer mode has been turned on. Go hit the back button, go to developer options. If you go all the way down, you can make all activities resizable for multi-window. So you can make all apps into multi-window mode. So let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, now you can go ahead and hold and drag here to use split screen. And I'm going to go ahead and choose, let's say my Twitter. All right, this app may not work with it, but it's working just fine here. Um, we force all apps now to use multi-window, right? Which is very nice. And you can also go ahead and resize uh, the multi-window. Now we have seen this in many previews, even with Marshmallow. You can't resize from the sideways. Um, but you can resize it when it's vertical. Now, if you want to go ahead and change the apps, um, you can go ahead and also go ahead and change it to uh, Instagram. Uh, this app doesn't support. Damn it. All right, multi window, very nice stuff. Google is about six years late, while all the no users have been enjoying it, but better late than never. All right, while you multitasking, maybe you have to go back home and then you want to go back, you can go ahead and go back. All right, while in multi window mode, if you want to get rid of it, Hold this down and it will actually get rid of the multi-window and make it into a single 
window. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens uh, on the lock screen now. So on Hangouts, I'm getting a bunch of messages. I'll be able to read them also grouped here. Also, let's go into my, my Twitter here and I can actually go ahead and hit like without actually unlocking my screen, which is kind of cool. And I do have fingerprints set on. All right, you can also access the settings, all right, uh, the notifications from the lock screen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the quick settings here. You'll see some new stuff like profile GP rendering, show layout bounds, data saver. I'm not sure what that does, um, but some more stuff you can actually play with. All right, profile GP rendering. Wow, that's kind of cool. Um, it's actually showing you how it's rendering the screen. All right, let's go ahead and play one of my videos. And as the video is playing, it's actually showing you uh, the GPU profiling, the rendering process. I don't know if people need that, but it's there. All right, data saver might be very good. I know a lot of the Huawei phones and also uh, Honor phones actually have this on board where it just kills apps. And this may help you actually I'll save a ton of battery by not letting apps run in the background. Show layout bounds. So this is really for the developers, I think, the rendering stuff. But this really shows what's going on behind the scenes. All right, let's turn that off. Ah, no airplane mode. Can't find the button. Oh, here we go. All right, turn it off. Nah. Okay, but overall, is this stable enough? I know some of you asked me on Twitter. And I would say, actually, I was on developer preview, I think, three. It was very unstable. And with, the, I think, last update was four or five. And that was really, really stable. When the preview first came out, some of my apps just forced close. Now, all of my apps work. Uh, I haven't actually had zero issues. So you should be good to go. And that's why it's official now. Um, if you have a Nexus device, especially Nexus 6P or 5X, you can go ahead and grab the OTA and install it really easy. I have full tutorial on my other channel. I'll have the link to the tutorial below. Check it out if you guys have a Nexus 6P or 5X. And also it should be available for other Nexus devices pretty soon. And also all other Android devices uh, in the upcoming few weeks. I'll try to do as many updates on many different devices I have, including like all the older Notes, um, Galaxies. But for right now, if you have a Nexus, you can pretty much get Android 7.0. This is the official version. Uh, LG V20 will have the first Android Nougat out of the box, out of the package. You don't have to wait that long. You can enjoy it right now. All right, at this point, I do highly recommend Android Nougat. Um, if you have some reason that you need to stick with Marshmallow, then I would just wait out for a little bit. If you have a Samsung device, it will be another three to six months. If you've installed it, do let me know what you think. Any hidden features, um, do let me know in the comment box below. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. And as always, stay... <laughs> Meow. Nugget. Click here to subscribe.